Bob Radio. Yo, what's up, everyone? So today we're going to be doing a Revengers 2 clan tier list out here with Cac, another Revengers yeah. YouTuber. Uh, I'll, yeah, link his, yeah, I'll link his stuff in the comments. So yeah, we're going to start off from B tier, go to C tier, B tier, A tier, S tier. So yeah, tell us in the comments below what you think, if we're right, if we're wrong. Anyways, let's start off with D tier. So Cac. Okay, so for D tier, we're starting off, I would say we're starting off strong, but we're starting off weak as fuck. Yeah. So Mitsuya. Mitsuya probably gets the title of the worst clan in game the for the clan. simple reason that the move doesn't do anything. You pop the move, nothing happens. It, it doesn't work. And it doesn't seem like it's gonna get fixed anytime soon, so Mitsuya goes to D tier. Yeah guys, with this Revengers update schedule, uh, I mean Kax waiting on his morph, Mitsuya's waiting on a working move. Guys, we might have to wait months, oh, yeah. we might have to wait years. Okay, next we have Coco's Clan. Um, I forgot what Coco's Clan does, but I'm pretty sure it's terrible because I'm always greeting him. Um, yeah, Coco Noi is also in B tier for another simple reason that, like, you 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 know the damage is really good. The damage is good on the grab. It's a combo ender, but you can yeah. easily get hit while you're doing it, and you can easily oh, just easy. get this shit canceled. And it's just like you're never really gonna land it, especially in team fights. And once it can also get bugged, so like this shit is ass. Yeah, it's like a it's terrible heavy shots. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Mochizuku Zuki. Okay, that clan has a lot to say about it. It's just terrible. It's basically <laughs> everything. He's just a super shit combo ender. Yeah, it's it's probably worse than probably the worst combo ender in game. If I had to say so, probably, I think I'd rather have Pocket Sand. But anyways. Let's go back up to C tier. Ryuguji, I don't know. They tried to they tried to fix it. Scrapped the announcement. Still, is it, I'm pretty sure it's still that terrible punch that has a terrible lingering hitbox and like you just run and then you can't aim it at all. Anma, I'm I'm pretty sure I might be wrong, but Anma, Kak doesn't. the damage is like yeah, like seven yeah, percent. Damage on Hanma either just doesn't work. Or it's like nothing. It's just barely noticeable. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be an M1 damage buff, but like this shit, this shit used to be busted in Revengers One, but I think they did something to it in Revengers Two. And it's just yeah. kind of dog shit. So it's C tier. And Hanamiya. Okay, next up we got Hanamiya. Yeah. So Hanamiya, Hanamiya is a clan with big history. This clan yep. used to absolutely dominate back in uh, March, back in February. Especially against like Hanagaki. Everybody had it. Yeah, it's a combo that I just used to do absolutely stupid, 20%. Now it's like shrinked after many, many years. It's shrinked to like about 5%. It's really yeah, I think it's like not good. 5 to 10. It's like somewhere in that range, but... No, 10, 10, 10, 10, is 10 is pretty good. It's like, it's the economy of doing really bad. It's like 5, maybe slightly more. I remember uh, I was in Valhalla at the time when Hanamiya Grab got nerfed. Our um, Kazutora at the time, Nebula, he was in shambles after he... He was terrible. Yeah. He was full green now. Yeah. Okay. I actually am guilty of, of kind of abusing this or making this meta with, with Kenichi and TD back in February because this shit. Yeah, like, Kak's a bad guy. That, and everybody had Baji and I just got Kanemi and I was like, damn, this shit kind of melts. And then mm -hmm. the rest is history. Well, let's make sure to give him more warnings. Anyways, next on to Kurokawa. I remember Kurokawa is that terrible counter, but I'm pretty sure yeah, they yeah, changed that's, this. That's, Okay. Is it still that? Nope. It's it's still the counter. It's oh god. I, I like out of all the counters, it's not terrible, but it's just for a clan. It's it's not a powerhouse or anything. Yeah. It it has like it it, it did get nerfed once because it has it had pretty short cooldown, and yeah. also now with the recent update that you can spam counters and they share cooldowns. That this shit is just mid. Yeah. But um, next one. Kawada. Yeah. Kawada or Kawata, I don't know how do you pronounce this. Yeah. This clan, when it released, it was busted as fuck. It was doing like 20%. Crazy. But it, it got nerfed quickly. And on top of the damage nerf, you, it can get interrupted because it lasts a while. Like the, the animation just kind of takes takes a bit. Yeah. Anyway. Next one, Hanagaki. I'll do this one. Uh, as a proud Hanagaki user, never been on any other clan. It's, it's, it's certainly seen its highs and it's definitely seen its lows, which is right now. They're used to um, basically when you die, heal you back up to 50%. They nerfed that, so now it's like 20%, 15 I can't remember. Maybe 25. Um, it's, it's 25 right now. Yeah, 25 right now. It's definitely not viable. 
because like yeah. the clan really had a history it started off at a 100 percent res sure. and now it's at yeah. 45 so yeah i think they went so, from 100 to 50 to 25 25 yeah so that's that's actually insane but um okay, next we got Terano yeah. to close the seat here yeah Terano uh, like it's just a weird ass combo in there. It, it was supposed to have like some AoE range, but it doesn't really work out and it doesn't do a lot of damage. It's, it's also slow, so if you have any ping issues, you can just get it countered in mid combo. So it's just a C tier, like a mid yeah. combo in there. Nothing, nothing so, crazy. Yeah, start off B tier, we have Matsuno Knee Kick. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good move, but it's. I think they gutted it a bit. Not too yeah, much, it's though. It's been getting nerfed. Yeah. It used to also be on, on the on the rise about a month ago, yeah. but now it's it's, it's kind of gutted. Yeah, well, Still decent poke, I guess. We need to rem remove poke. Let's, uh, let's just uh, I'll, I'll title that the video remove poke. Anyways, next on the Osanai, uh, he used to have this weird counter. It was actually the pretty decent. Was terrible. It was, nah, it was decent. Was okay, but now it's this weird jab move. Still. It's it's probably first decent combo ender on the list so yeah. far. It, 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 when it released like the rework, it was like bugged as fuck and was doing like 40%, but that got fixed quickly because it wasn't intended, obviously. Yeah. Now it's just like decent. Now it's like 7%, I think. Which yeah. is solid, I guess. It's solid for it. But then now we have Baji Dropkick. Uh, it's, I, I'm, it's, it, it definitely used to be way, like, before it got nerfed a couple of times, it would have probably been A tier. But it's still a great, really, like, really good combo under. That's a, and it's, it's just a. It's I would, I would honestly say it's, it's also good as poke because the animation yeah. is like instant. You can instantly poke people off of it. But the damage they can nerf. Yeah. Inui. Okay, next up we have Nui. Inui has two variations. One of the two clans that have two potentially two moves, which one of them was really, really OP when it released. It was home, head run. No, head home run. My bad, head home run. Uh, and that, that thing is basically a pipe or brute exclusive combo ender. Mm -hmm. it's, it used to be OP because it hit in ragdoll. It doesn't anymore. And yeah, also, got the it, was, it, was, it was too broken to hit in ragdoll. Yeah. And the non pipe, non brute variation intimidation, which is just a, a buff that lasts for a decent amount. The buff buffs your speed and a more speed, which. It's it's pretty okay. You you can make a bunch of stuff work with it, I guess. And also, it's two moves. That's why it's B tier. Yep. And for the next one, I'll let Kak talk about this. Uh, it's oh uh, yeah, Kawaragi. Yep. Kawaragi. I'm putting him on B tier because I think the damage got a buffed a bit. But this move, this clan, like, it's it's basically a poke damage, lock breaking, but also very importantly, perfect yeah. blockable move, which it's pretty strong. It has a weird. Uh, weird effect where after getting up you may or may not be stunned a little bit like so i used to kind of abuse this and combo started with it in a way but yeah. the downside of, of being able to get perfect block every time you use it is really bad especially since the, the animation is slow and it's really easy to perfect block yeah, so that's why that's why i beat you it used to just it's be this weird umbrella block. right yeah you just no, throw no, no, no it never no umbrellas my was my spec. oh yeah your spec your, your terrible spec that i used Anyways, I, I'll actually it's like his busted now. I like go buff. Yeah, I like Kak talk about the next two since it's his uh, his era, his times. Oh, yeah. So Arashi, Arashi is uh, basically Benkei's clan. It's pretty much Hito, the same thing as Hito except it has le more end lag. It's basically a move where you just kind of rush, and you run in front of you with your arm like I don't fucking know even how to explain this, but basically it's like Paravaz. Yeah, it's basically a Paravaz, but you have way more end lag than Paravaz or Hito does. So yeah, it's, it's strong because it does good damage and it's pretty much impossible to miss. Also, yeah. not perfect blockable and not really punishable in any way. Uh, but it does have end lag and kind of restricts your movement. So that's why B tier. Yeah. And then to to finish off B tier, we have Imaoshi, which w would be higher, but then would damage be. got nerfed a bit recently. It's very, it's very good. It's a combo ender, uh, yeah. le le leopard kick. It basically does a decent amount of, the, of damage, like mm -hmm. 8%, and then blinds you as yeah. well. Yeah, it's basically the best combo is... ender in B tier. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Which is why okay. it's at the top, but... 
Itani. I haven't used it, so I kind of forgot I, what it. Oh, I, I I can I can do this. Yeah. Okay, so to open A tier, Itani. Uh, Itani has two moves, two variations. One of which the better one as of right now is the brute slash pipe variant, which is yeah. uh, hand, it's. Uh, the barrage, I don't remember what it's yeah. called, but it's basically the baton barrage. And what it does, it's a little barrage combo in there with a slam at the end, which just got buff, de damage buff recently. It does a lot. It's it's just solid in that way. And then the move that you have when you don't have bear, yeah, when you don't have baton or you don't have pipe is mm -hmm. arm arm lock. And it's a combo in there, but that shit does like less damage now. Yeah. Also makes you like, makes the guy you, you grab scream. Stuff. Let me pull up the trailer. You can do the next one. I pull up the trailer just so I can make sure to give the right. stuff on the next last, last video. Okay, so Hito. Hito is basically just Arashi, but but strong. It's stronger. I don't think the damage has. It, it, I think the damage is pretty much the same, but you can steer more. You can control your movement way more compared to Arashi. So it's just a pair of Oz, but yeah, um, but not it, a pair of Oz on this list. Yeah. Mm, yeah, two perils playing good at it, so why not? Yeah. Right, so now we have Sano. Um, it's a move, and I'm pretty sure it basically boot makes your M1 speed faster. If I'm not incorrect. No, no, no. So yeah, basically Sano has that. No, no. Right now, how it works is the move itself. You don't have to pop it to have the passive M1 speed. It's always on. Mm -hmm. It's slight, but it's there. The move is Dark Impulses, which has like 200 seconds cooldown, more or less, yeah, and gives you gives you like 15% HP and a damage buff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's like it's like better Hanagaki, pretty much. Yeah, it's right better now. Hanagaki, but Zade's got it nerfed to the ground because he uh, stacked. Uh, he, abused uh, the, he abused the bug. Yeah. yeah kinda like yeah, like Hack has a couple warrants because he loves to abuse with his Shiba Clan, but we're not gonna get into that right now. That's for my Hack yeah. exposed video. Coming out soon. No, make sure to watch. This is crazy. This is no, so Mudo crazy Clan. Next up, it's a shoulder throw. It's just basically a combo, and they're combo it's injured. pretty good. It it's, does good it's damage. It's just it, it does ten percent. Yeah, that's why it's up there. Yeah, okay, sure. then. Oh yeah. Then to open up, finally to open up S tier, we have Akashi, which Akashi. gives you Mark of Rage, which you pop, you like crack your knuckle, crack your knuckles, and. You fucking you gain a thirty, I think thirty percent damage buff for you go crazy. Health. Yeah, you go crazy basically. It applies to everything, not just M ones like Hanma. It is temporary, but it it doesn't have a very long cooldown, uh, and it's just busted as fuck. Obviously, when you land a combo, it does thirty percent more damage, which is yep. huge. Yep. It results in people making absolutely busted builds and such. And, um, and last clan. In the not game. the best. I, I think Akashi's probably better. Uh, I think I think Shiba. Shiba's better. Shiba, Shiba is the black force. Yeah, that is Shiba true. Shiba is just it's a combo in their head crush, which has a lot of funny properties. It does about eight percent, nine percent damage uh, right now. Not like the hugest damage uh, that we have on the list, but yeah, it has a properties that make it really OP. First of all. The hitbox. It it has the same hitbox that Reckless's move Killer Whale has. Very stupid. Which makes you able to basically poke with it, which is a weird because it's a combo in the move, but you can pretty much poke with it. I I might make a video on that because it's really He's fun gonna to make do. a video on him abusing it and why he gets his warrants, guys. Mm. And also, if you're if you have two people, I'm pretty sure you can kinda use a tech and you can uh, extend off of yeah, it yeah, yeah. with uh, so another grab. It, so basically how Dempsey roll leaves the, the person that's getting Dempsey roll like being able to get hit The same thing happens with Shiba grab and also I'm pretty sure uh, The essence move from Dragon of Dojima basically grabs like this like for example when I'm grabbing someone with Shiba grab for the Duration of the animation that person can be hit with something else which allows really busted shit For example me and Kana I always do this when I Shiba grab someone, he lariats the person that I'm Shiba grabbing. Mm -hmm. And, and that's why he gets his warns, guys. He is abusing and he still had his spec, but it got removed by P2, WP2. No, I got Anyways, it back. I got it back. He got it back. Got that's it back. another warn. That's it for the video, guys. I'm going to put CAC stuff in the comments in the description. Go like, sub, all his videos. All good stuff. Maybe not his Shinden videos, but that's another story. Yeah, this is um, crazy. That's crazy. 
anyways so that's gonna end off this video like i said expect about three youtube shorts about this video uh you know gotta get that content grind you already know what i'm saying trying to get one extra player to the game guys one extra player Max, can we do that for the just, video just one just one guys just one. So, and so make sure to join right. tomon guys Home on no, is the what? Right Join now. Black Dragons. Guys, Black Cac did Dragons. carry this video. Not gonna lie. Um, I was low-key slacking on my clan knowledge this time, but, you know, he doesn't. He never gets off the game. He was still playing while taking, his, taking his pet to the vet. I uh, hope everything is well with that. But anyways, that guys, is that playing. is it for the video. Goodbye. Goodbye.